One of my favorite things to do during the weekend is to hit the open houses. It gives me a really fun chance to go out there and see what people are doing in their houses. Also to see what are people getting wrong, what are the things that they're struggling with. And I've always noticed when I go into people's houses that picture hanging is a real struggle for people. So I thought that this would be a really fun opportunity for us to do a story on different ways and creative ideas on where and how to hang your pictures. In this particular case, what we wanted to show is that art doesn't just have to live on walls. We've got a beautiful bookcase here and it's a really great opportunity to display your art, whether it be right inside the bookcase or on top of the bookcase. Also, we can use the height of the bookshelf and have art all the way down here. Because we don't want to nail right into our bookcase, there's a really great product called 3M Command, and it's essentially a double-sided adhesive which hooks right on, and then we've affixed it to the bookcase and just hung the painting right on top of that. And what I like about this is because we've already got quite a strong grid, it gives a really professional gallery look. In this situation, we wanted to show the importance of using a piece of furniture to ground a piece of art. In a lot of cases, you'll see a piece of art kind of floating on a wall with nothing to relate to it. So what we've done here is placed a large piece of furniture and a slightly smaller piece of art above. The important thing here is the height at which you place the art. Good rule of thumb is anywhere between 4 to 12 inches, and I think a larger piece can tolerate a slightly bigger space here. The other thing is because we've got this large vase, we were able to raise this a little bit higher. Anything above 12 inches, the art will start to feel like it's floating by itself. Also think about centering the piece of furniture so that you've got breathing space on either side, 4 to 12 inches, depending on the size of your furniture, and that sets up kind of a nice symmetry that you can use to display objects. There's nothing like a series of pictures to really give your home a real professional look. In this case, we've used three photos from the same series. The key is to have the same frames and the same matting. Hanging a whole series of pictures all straight and level can be a real nightmare. There are a few tricks that can help you navigate that. The first trick is to hang a line. You can just tape it right to the wall along the bottom of the uh, line of frames. So that'll give you somewhere to anchor. The next thing is to use a tool that I think is super handy. It's called the hang and level. And what it allows you to do is just hang the picture right on the hook here and then eyeball where you want it to go. Remove the picture. You press this little button and it tells you exactly where you want the hole to be. So that allows you to eyeball it before you start kind of hammering holes all over your wall. It's important also to get this space equidistant. That can be a little bit tricky, so you have to leave the paintings up as you're moving along. But if you're just doing three, the best thing to do is to hang the outer two and then measure the distance between the outer two, split that in half, and that's where you're going to hang your third painting. I come from a family that spent a lot of time moving around, and in our family we always said, the day of the move, always set up your bed and hang a picture on the wall. It's a great way to make your house feel like a home.